Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. This is your host, River Foxen, and uh, at this point, we are heading back to the Citadel. So, although we did have some uh, business that we need to do uh, with the Krogans, first, we're going to go and do, or at least uh, open up a bunch of side quests. So we already saw, like, we got several messages of people to talk to. So look, we can... We have like multiple places we can go here. Let's go first to Alliance Docks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, no thanks. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. All right. Let's see here. Do I? Oh, there it is. Why isn't this? This map, some, oh, there it goes. Sometimes the map pops up, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, I'm just looking to see if anyone is around who wants to talk. All right, hold on, what is where? Yep. I don't think there's anybody new here. So, what's this? Oh, we can go to the other part of the uh, Citadel from here. But that's not where we want to go right now. We want to take the elevator. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Oh, we can go a all different places here. I guess this is where we are now. So we can go to the embassies, we can go to purgatory. Hmm. There's lots of different things here. Anyway, first let's go to Huerta Memorial Hospital. Because I believe Ashley wanted to talk to us. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel is low, but... Hmm. No, you don't understand. This isn't for... Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular Metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. All right. I found this Metagel formula. Figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. All right. Well, that one's taken care of. I just happen to already have it. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm just... tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive, two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. What's going on here? Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. All right. I guess they're just arguing politics. Oh. Hello, Dr. Michelle. Hello again, Commander. Here to see our patient? How is Ashley doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion, but multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. Mm-hmm. This war has left a lot of injured people homeless. How's your center handling the extra load? We're fine now. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Keep up the good work, Doctor. All right. I don't think she has anything new to say in that regard. So let's move on. All right. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for Asari use. Hmm. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system 
is offline. Of course, if these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as we need. Yeah, all right. Something about Grissom Academy. That might be someplace I'm going. Anything you guys have to say? Nope. Alright. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Hmm. I know the Ismar Frontier isn't safe. Yes. Yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. Alright. Open up another side quest. That's, so that's kind of what you have to do. You have to kind of wander around and you overhear conversations, which then open up uh, side quests. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? Uh oh, poor guy. I, I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing here. I think this is just the other side of the same lab. Yep. All right. Well, let's talk to Ashley. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, no more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Udina? I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. Hmm. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. When you're back on your feet, we'll talk some more. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I, I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Hmm. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. There's a war on. People are counting on us. I get it. But it's still hard to put it all aside. So what's all this lieutenant commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reaper's Ash. You did the best you could. And survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, ma'am. Roger that, LC. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you. Even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're both professionals. We have more important things to worry about. You're right. I'm just restless laying here doing nothing. Hmm. 
Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. Hmm. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. Alright, well... I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. Will do, Commander. Okay. Well, I think that's all that we can do here for right now. So let's move on to another part of the Citadel. This episode might actually end up being a bunch of talking. Just like the good old days with the Citadel episodes. Alright. Let's see here. Let's go to embassies. Just to see if there's anything new here. But what I need is proof. I can't take your word on this. But those assumptions merely leave my unstranded in enemy territory. But now they still be alive. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please. Please. A few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. All right. Got a new quest. So yeah, like I said, I'm just wandering around looking for people to overhear or talk to. Good morning. Oh, hello, ma'am. Hmm. I doubt he has anything new to say, but we can check. It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about, rumors flying about the war. People are walking around eyeballing each other, and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. Hmm. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Hmm. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Alright, he doesn't have a whole lot new to say, just uh, that opening bit. Oh, here's somebody. 
This is one of the people I needed to talk to, Command I think. Shepard. John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recons. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for oh. years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Salarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. Hmm. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. That's interesting. So, remember when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. All right. Well, it looks like we have something to do here. She's hanging out. Huh? Let's see here. Was there anything I needed to check? I did want to go check the uh, terminal. Let's see. Military pardons for Normandy engineers. Engineers Gabriella Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody on the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Daniels and Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were motivated purely to help fight the Collectors and Reapers and had no other connection to the terrorist organization. Spectre authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full pardons and reinstate them aboard the Normandy. Hmm. I... Why not? Hopefully it doesn't bite me. Maybe they'll, they'll like, sabotage something. Hmm. Hanar Embassy Tracking. Spectre-level access codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data, transit records, and personal communications for all employees in the Hanar Embassy. To avoid triggering surveillance countermeasures, embassy files must be accessed on-site. Nav points of consoles or access points with the relevant information will be tagged on the Spectre's Omnitool. All right. On it. Bow's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. Mm -hmm. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. Hmm. Obviously can't afford these things. Wish I could. That's a very nice gun. That's a little overkill, maybe. I don't know if I would, and I don't like shotguns really that much, but. All right, let's see here. Did I want to try out new guns that I got? Well, if I do, I'm going to do that off camera. I'm not going to waste everybody's time with that. All right, this is Udina's office. Don't know if he's going to have anything to say. Oh, I remember this view. All right. The council. You saved their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. 
I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. All right. My first time really talking to him? Maybe. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans. And there's a need there. Hmm. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Mm -hmm. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff. But to have it all gone. Hmm. Yeah. I should go. I'll be here. Alright. So he's just saying stuff that I probably could have gotten from him had I spoke to him last time I was here. He seems to think that it's the same day. All right, let's see here. Anybody else needs talking to? No. All right. There's this office suite here. Hmm. There's a terminal here? Let's uh, go check out that terminal. I think that has to do with the Hanar thing. There's that office suite that I don't seem to know how to get into. Maybe that has to do with this mission that I'm on. Maybe the door will finally open. Hmm. This is a terminal. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it says the terminal's here, but it's over here. Bow. I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. Well, I mean, I'd love to have her back on the team. She was fun. All right. Where am I going now? Hmm. All right. Well, I'm not here. Yes, I have spoken to you before. Why do you refuse to come? Welcome, Commander Shepard. All right. Let's go to Presidium Commons. I don't know if I've been here. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. 
Yeah, I think this area is new. Oh, looks like Edie and Joker are here. It's a bank. Hmm. But other than that, this is a, a new area. So you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for a shot. Oh, I get to pick somebody. The one he's never even fired. I love... The Alliance can use your help. There's plenty of non-combat roles. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? She thinks we could do some good. Okay, I'll look at that recruitment brochure. Maybe they can use someone to stack crates or cook or something. Oh, well, maybe. Or we can give you a gun and send you out there. Probably what we'd end up doing. Oh, hey! I remember you. Basic services. It seems the Reapers took our culture when they took our world. The Book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost on our home world. And now, our people have lost their way. Hmm. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Now well, let's see, shotgun shredder round, high caliber barrel, Cerberus armor, aquarium VI, ultralight pistol. Hmm. Some of these things I might want. Thank you. But I'll remember to come back. Hey, buddy! Uh, I wouldn't go to the settled worlds. Larger colonies appear to be priority targets. If you're coming to the Citadel, do it soon. Certainly, look me up. Business will keep me here for some time. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Let's see here. Some apartments here. I wonder. Maybe that's where the Hanar diplomat thing is. I think I'm ready to end it. Oh, do you have anything to say? Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Presidium Commons. You are on the main promenade of the shopping gallery. Here you will find establishments offering specialized goods and services. For assistance or for information about our special promotion, talk to me or contact the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Hmm. What's this promotion you mentioned? Producer Jean-Marie Aronisius is donating a portion of all proceeds from her new Blasto movie to the Citadel's Military Defense Fund. Audio excerpts of Blasto 6, Partners in Crime, are now available for your listening pleasure right here on the Presidium. Hmm. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Yep. All right. Sorry, this is taking a while. All right. From financial BIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these Reapers win. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. Hmm. If we switch from financial VIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about that? I've seen Pelavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, 
You want to sell your shares of what? Fine. But I'm not selling financial VIs while my homeworld burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Interesting. So, looks like uh, we're going to get some military power out of that. Just... All right, nothing going on here. Hmm. Blasto 6, partners in crime. Wait a minute. Is that a Hanar and an Elcor? Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Not exactly what I'd think of as action stars. Alright. Thinking of going? To Sanctuary, I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. Of course not. Sanctuary is a scam. What? Oh, count on it. Somebody's making money from people's kids. Hmm. Wonder. I don't think I can do this anymore. Sorry about this. Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. All right. We remember them from the first game. They're the ones arguing about something. I forgot what it was they were arguing about. But I remember that we, as the first human shepherd, or excuse me, um, Spectre, managed to fix their problems for them. Oh, hey, look, it's Edie. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me. But he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. <laughs> How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades. And my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Hmm. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Okay, that's a little creepy. She really should put some clothes on, though. Anyway, 
We still have so much of this citadel to explore, but uh, we're going to do that next time. So if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined. And I'll see you later.